Well, it's about time I played something other than Batman. What's going on, guys? Infamous noob. I found a good deal on the first two Assassin's Creeds. If you didn't know, which you probably don't because I've never mentioned it, well, you could assume by one of my previous videos. Anyways, one of my favorite series and games right now is the Assassin's Creed series. So I figured, hey, why not buy this two-pack that I found at Target. It was only ten bucks. First two games. I can play it on PC, and I can do a Let's Play. Makes sense to me. I hope it makes sense to you. Let's get started! Starting it off good. Loading screen. And people without faces! Yay! Now, is there an option to turn on subtitles and anywhere? No subtitles. In the main game, it didn't let me turn on subtitles at any point, so... Okay, I'll try and figure it out. Off camera. I don't want to make you suffer anymore. And it looks like I might have to adjust the controls too to try and accommodate for the Assassin's Creed 4 controls that I'm already used to. Okay, WASD to walk, I know game. What? Uh, first person view, there we go. Yeah, we got free running down. Oh. <laughs> And of course, right when I get free running down, I fall on my face. It's just like learning to run for the first time. Oh, wasn't that pathetic when that happened? Okay. Well, if you don't know, they're trying to sync them up to the Animus right now. Now, I'm also excited too because I heard with the PC version of the first game, they added in more side missions in between the assassinations. Which is really nice considering the main problem with this game was repetition, because you'd play like the same three or four side missions over and over again until you finally get to a cool mission. Okay. You okay? Ah, Kristen Bell! I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me! You strapped me into that thing! And you put animus. it in danger in the first place. It's an animus. I don't even know you people! Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes! What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We yes, and we want your genetic memories, too. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. If Locked I remember away. correctly, I think with the marketing of the first but game, they never even assassin. mentioned that um, this whole yes, modern-day line was. existed. People something thought that it was only going to be the past stuff with Most Altair. Fortunate for us. What do you want from Post me? in the comments what if you know. You told. It's See, really interesting that they would what cut need. that out. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Oh, um, let's see. Number lock. I always like to go with the really obscure buttons to do random crap when it's like press any button to interact it's like okay I'll press the Q button which is it's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions genetic I always imagine this being like a Hannibal Lecter scenario where you're all locked up like this well we'll start simple what about your lab, Mr. Miles? It's the 
recollection of a past event. I'll eat your liver with a side of fava beans and a nice yeah, sure. Gandhi. But what if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? Genetic memory. Genetic you, memory. How about that? Hibernation. Reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call I guess that does raise an important remains. question, because even though it's been proven that genetic memories don't exist, experience. how do I've they know the to fly south for the winter? Why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations. And I wonder if you can get this mouse pointer well. on your desktop. The it looks of really nice. And the animus lets you decode and read All these right, DNA I'm going to mark or I'm going to stab you in the but there's neck. A problem. This is the right there. No. Memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We found yeah, similar reactions subconscious among resisting. Who okay, I get it. I, can we get started events? with sequence one now, please? Jump directly into the specific memory. No, I they suppose not. Eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll get used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Oh yay, tutorial time. I'm gonna need it. Considering all the controls are all weird now. Warning. Data stream unstable. Attempt oh, to okay. Shift is normally sprint in these kind of games, but now it's Hello, swimming through air. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. In we'll find land soon enough! The synchronization bar there we go. How in sync you are with your synchronization is ish If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. You are currently Ooh, close to desynchronization. All right, so we can gently slap someone ever so delicately. Or we can go full out and punch him in the face. The Good to know. A puppeteering concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Yeah, it does kind of make me sad how they completely abandoned the puppeteering concept in later games. Uh, it's like, now the head button is secondary weapon, and now B is counter, and... They just... I always thought it was kind of cool how they did the whole puppeteering concept, but then they just kind of threw it out. Yep. The, the, they're two ladies without faces. Kind of creeping me out. To walk through these jar carriers without causing a Oh yes, I love this part. Proceed to the marker to continue this thing. Okay, now I just need process. to Yeah, there we go. Gung ho Yeah. <laughs> Man, I could have sworn last time I did this back on the Xbox 360. There we go. <laughs> They all drop their pots just to look at you. Like, how rude. It's like that part in Inception where, like, everybody's staring at the main character because they did sl something slightly out of line, and then they try to kill her. Uh. Oh! Oops. Okay, didn't mean to do it that time, but... Hey, if you want to throw away your expensive pottery, be my guest. ever so gently touch them in a suggestive area now well done yay i win the animus differentiates between two fundamental actions low profile and high profile low profile actions are socially acceptable High profile actions are more action yep. oriented. Running is no longer Flip socially acceptable. To see how Good to know. 1191 was a different time. Of the puppeteering inputs. Excellent. Yay! We will 
will continue your synchronization process by Ooh, testing time to high profile punch action. a person in the not face grab and throw this individual onto the mark oh using the empty hand can i please let me punch him in the not face all right then egghead get over there good down on the ground down on the ground using your leg button in high profile will allow you to sprint Sprinting is useful Yay, to sprinty soldiers, time. or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, reach the mark. Where is this man? Is it Mr. Notface? The there you go. No, Mr. Notface Knight. Knight Notface. Well I'm a winner, see my prize. You're the loser, sits and cries. The analyst will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. Social status. The different states. I guess it was there's a different audience. meeting back in 1191. This icon. No middle class, low class. At you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your okay, target. F is lock on. Good to know. Now, select your hidden blade. Can I use the mouse wheel? I don't know. This was made in 2008. I don't know if mouse wheels were really in games that much by then. It would be nice if you could select with the mouse wheel, though. Cannon 4. Whoa! Where'd he go? Joining the heavenly choirs above. <laughs> Did I just break the tutorial? The dead body has no, okay. Because I know in the previous, in the Xbox 360 version, he's supposed to see the body, and that's what makes you hide. Undertaken at this time will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Oh. All right then. I can provoke him in many ways. No. No, no, no. There we go. I couldn't move any further. I thought I had broken the tutorial for a second. And try to break the line of sight. Okay. No, no. Run. 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 Get away from me. No, you're not. Excellent. You're standing there yelling at me. That's like the opposite of catching up with someone. Vanish. It's like I was again. never even there. Yep, by no means check well, the hiding place on the, the roof. Has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. All right, I can exit. Excellent. Thank you. Being anonymous will finish All right, I'll try to at least get through the tutorial so that I can get on with the game in part two. There are different places. Admittedly, this is kind of dull. However, you must always break the line of sight first. And then use a high spot Next, to we sit on a bench. Whoopity do. We could walk amongst the KKK. We can hide in a rooftop garden. We can sit on a bench Let next to faceless people. Demonstration of blend. All sorts of options. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Okay, I just gotta stab one. Oh, come on! I think a game called Assassin's Creed would let you stab some more people. It's okay, guys, I'm praying. That means I'm a good guy. Don't mind me. Ever so slowly. Yay! Now that you are fully synced, 
and new ability is available to you. Referred to as Eagle Vision, this sixth sense Eagle Vision. your ancestor okay. understand the intentions I get it. You of press, people around you. Press the E key. Well done. I got somebody you want to kill, somebody you want to live. Somebody doesn't matter whether or not it lives. And another person you definitely Remember, need to kill. Eagle Vision will only be available once you are fully synced. Please note that following the Assassin's Creed, your ancestor's way of life will assist you with staying in sync. The creed consists of three. That was always a cool concept too. First, how it's not health; it's a synchronization bar. So it's second, like when you lose too much health, discreet. you're getting out of sync with the animus. I thought that was a not really a gameplay thing, but it was a really clever concept in the story. You know, as much as people dump on this game, I have a little bit already. Um, I think it's pretty good. I don't, the combat always had a really good feel to it. I can't really explain it, just the sound effects. Breaking guys' legs, you're gonna see me do a lot of that. It's so fun. Wait! There must be another way. This one need not die. Oh well. Altair was bored of not being able to kill people too. Not fortune, skill. Watch a while longer and you might learn something. Indeed. He'll teach you how to disregard everything the Master's taught us. And how would you have done it? I would not have drawn attention to us. Yeah, whenever a thing appears on the screen what like that, you're supposed to the click. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Or just press any button so you can not how we complete our get different perspectives. Done. But this is not the way of... My way is better. I will scout what the an hell. egotist. Try not to dishonor us I remember with the Xbox 360 what version, there was an achievement My brother would say where you have to access so many glitches, aka when the stuff flashes the across the screen, you need to click Treasure. or press a button to get that alternate All camera angle. Considers it important, else he would not have asked me to retreat. I'm pretty sure the copy I have is DRM free. I, I downloaded it from a disc that I bought at a store doesn't require Steam or Uplay or Origin or whatever of the five million there are, so maybe there aren't achievements? I don't know, but in case I want to get them all, because I'm a completionist like that. Anyways, I think this video has gone on for long enough. Sorry it's kind of dull, but that's the way tutorials go. Coming up next on a Let's Play Assassin's Creed, progress.